Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Now we are looking, looking at fee zikrukum points now. Alhamdulillah, we are looking at self-assessment points. This is for our own sake, to understand where we stand, what we believe about this statement, and what we are in, are have in our mind about this statement. This is a self-analysis. This is not to you know for anything else but your own understanding of your thoughts and also alhamdulillah i hope that you are all noting this down in your notebook inshallah ta'ala so that you can later on look at it and uh, see where you stood at this specific time you can date it of course alhamdulillah we're looking at um, these points and we see in juz 6 number one do I believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed law and method for mankind law and method and as we know law means um, a system of rules uh, do, do we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a system of rules and of course a method a particular procedure for accomplishing uh, something for example achieving success so do uh, I believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed law and method for mankind yes no to some extent to a great extent where do I see myself with this statement number two Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who judge wisely um, you know we always wonder who does Allah love and uh, here we are saying do we feel that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love those people who judge wisely who think before they speak who um, say something about something only after they have uh, tried to understand it alhamdulillah try to get um, uh, more information about it uh, not rush to any decision so Allah SWT does do do we feel that Allah SWT loves those who judge wisely yes no to some extent to a great extent number three whoever is an ally of Allah and his messenger and those who have believed indeed the party of Allah they will be the predominant okay so we are looking at this alhamdulillah in surah Maida, surah number five ayat number 56 it is stated whoever is an ally of Allah and his messenger and those who have believed indeed the party of Allah they will be the predominant the people who are with Allah, who support Allah, who work for the cause of Allah, will they be predominant? Are those are the ones that are going to be um, successful? Are those are, are those the people that are going to dominate and um, in eventually arrive to success? Yes, no, to some extent, to a great extent. Alhamdulillah, we go on to point number four. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like the corruptors. Do we believe this statement? Corruption, corruption causing uh, corruption in land. Do you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like the corruptors? Yes, I believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't like corruptors. Yeah, no, I don't believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, does not like the corruptors to some extent and to a great extent. So as we see, alhamdulillah, that uh, corruption is, is something that is rampant in our country and uh, all kinds of corruption uh, as we know there is alter, uh, adulteration there's uh, this dishonest dealings and fraudulent conduct um, of power and you know there's bribery and so do we feel that if these things are happening and there are corruptors who are doing these things who are defrauding others who are being dishonest do we feel that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like them we have to ask ourselves and if we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like the corruptors then we should not have the characteristics of corruptors in our personality inshallah ta'ala ameen alhamdulillah we go on to the next question people will oppose me when I call to Islam so this statement says that whenever we call people to Islam there are always going to be some people that are going to go against us that are going to um, not like what we're doing. Is that true? Do we believe this? That people will oppose me when I call to Islam? Do you think it's going to become difficult when we call people to Islam? When Rasul Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam started calling people to Islam, did people oppose him? And if I do the same, will people oppose me? Yes, no, to some extent, to a great extent. 
we go to point number six Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not intend to make difficulty for mankind do we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, does not want to put difficulty into our lives do we believe that the laws and methods that he's put forth actually are for our own ease do we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not intend to make difficulty for mankind yes no to some extent to a great extent we go to point number seven inshallah ta'ala point number seven says to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our return altogether do we believe that we're going to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do we believe that all of us will go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, yes no to some extent to great extent we look at point number eight Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the doers of good do we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the people who do good yes we believe no we don't believe to some extent we believe to a great extent we believe so what is our uh, own assessment about ourselves as we go on forward we see um, point number nine those who do not prevent one another from wrongdoing Allah has become angry with them so if we see any wrong you know this hadith about uh, if you see any wrongdoing stop it with your hand if you cannot then say it with your tongue and if you cannot at least feel bad in your heart that this is happening uh, so those who do not prevent one another from wrongdoing Allah has become angry with them do we believe that Allah can become angry with people who do not stop wrongdoing yes no to some extent to a great extent we look at point number 10 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all seeing and ever fully aware of what we do do we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all seeing all aware of what we do yes no to some extent to a great extent Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen we have looked at 10 points for just 6 may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always guide us towards betterment may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always guide us towards the right path Sirat al-Mustaqeem may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us on Sirat al-Mustaqeem and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lead us to the success of those people who continue to be on Sirat al-Mustaqeem inshallah Ameen